Hi hey everybody, it's Jojo and I'm here to do an all over year favorite. So this is my favorite to 2022. Um, I have on this cute cardigan. You guys can see, yeah, it's this cute little cardigan. <laughs> um, this eye look, when I talk about the makeup, I'm gonna have to recreate this eye look. Like I'm gonna have to, it's like a unicorn kind of candy fantasy and I'm gonna have to recreate it in a makeup tutorial because I love it that much. Okay, let's get started. So I'm gonna do body care, Bath and Body Works, makeup, TV shows and movies, like I always do. Okay, so let's get started with the body care. There's a lot of Bath and Body Works stuff. Um, no candles, but there's hand soaps, body care, all that stuff. So, um, I'll start with this one, the Strawberry Snowflakes Hand Soap. Um, this one was is really, really pretty. Um, oh, let, me, let me dye this down a little bit. Girl, this is... Here's my makeup bag. <laughs> Sorry. I know there's a mess, like, in the back right now, but I'm just going to dye this down. I did a little too much because I like to put the shimmer. You know how I like to put the shimmer, girl. But, oh my god, it's still a lot. <laughs> I'm definitely glistening to the quads. Okay. All right, let's get back to the favorite of 2022 shit. Okay. <laughs> um. So I really like this hand soap. This is really really good. The strawberry snowflakes. Rainbow Cereal was another great one. This was came off of Pride this year. I love this one. Oh, and I forgot another hand soap. Um, mango something. It was a mango one. I forgot what it was called, but I really liked it. It came out in the summertime. It was a blue bottle with like a boat on it. It was a hand soap. There was mango in it. I forgot what it was called, but that's also a favorite of the month, of the year. But Rainbow Cereal, for sure. Um, this was Wildberry Lemonade for spring and then um, Glistening Gum Drops for the winter was the same scent. This was also a favorite. Um, I love this one. This one was great. Another hand soap is I Only Have Pies for You Coconut Pumpkin Latte. Ah, oh, love this one. This one was great. It smelled just like pumpkin pie, like phenomenal. Um, another hand soap is Poppy. So this came out in Body Care too, but I only got the hand soap, but the hand soap's really good. I love the, the Poppy hand soap. This is so, so, so delicious. This is not even funny. Like, they, they did a good job with the Poppy. This came out, you know, spring, Mother's Day, around that time. Um, okay, let's go into Body Care stuff. So, Pumpkin Apple, I loved. It was the best. Like, they finally came up pumpkin apple and body care, and I couldn't have been happier. Like, it was that. It's it's so good. Like, it really is. I love it. So it's just, like, the candle. It's great. God, there's so many body care stuff. Oh, my God. I don't even know where. It's too much stuff. Fall and Bloom. Um, this came out in the early fall uh, for body care. It's so good. I got so many perfumes. Oh, so I love this one. This was one of the, my favorites this year. I am so happy they brought this out. Like, they they really did that with this scent, I'm telling you. Like, really, really good. And speaking of great scents, another one, Dream Bright. I had to get the Shimmer Mist. By the way, that's not what I have on my chest right now, even though it looks like it is. I have on the Jeffree, like, you know, Supreme Frost. Wow, my chest is really glistening, girl. <laughs> oh my God. Holy hell. Um, okay, so duly noted, I think in the year 2023 next year, I'm probably going to have to, like, dye that down a little bit. It's pretty, but I, I do a lot. Anyway, so back to this. This is really, really good. Um, oh, my God. Oh, this is so good. This just came out. It's so good. Oh, my God. so good. Another one that just came out, girl, Rainbow Swirl Candy. This one is so... In fact, you know what? This one, I'll spray because this one really... I spray this on. I have it in my pocketbook. Everyone's like, what is that? I mean, it smells like... I don't even know how to explain it. It's like blue raspberry, cotton candy, 
lemon drop. It's everything you love. Like, it's so good. It smells like Candyland. It smells like literally like you're walking into the Willy Wonkers chocolate factory. Like, you're walking, you know, in that scene where all the candy, the lollipops, the gummy bears, all that's around, like, the Candyland type of, like, ordeal. Like, that room. That's what this smells like. Okay. Speaking of candy scents, it's two right here I'm staring at. So Enchanted Candy Potion was great for Halloween. And this came out this past October. It smells so good. Like, it really does smell like just candy. It smells so good. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Bath & Body Works has really outdid themselves this year. They really, really did. They did a really good job in a lot of their stuff. Um, this one came out for some annual sale for the summertime, and this is the uh, Bubblegum Pop. This one, too. You know, this one also spray. Oh, my God. This is so good. It smells literally just like bubblegum. Like, it just smells like bubblegum. Like, literally what it does. It's so good. Oh, my God. I feel like I'm eating bubblegum right now. Woo! Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> coconut cream pie is another really good one this came out um i think last year but i just just this year i i kind of like started loving it it was like january february i fell in love with this this is so good like i have been using this non-stop um this even this past month i don't know this is great for cooler weather i'm, I'm obsessed with their caramel coconut cake it's just so good What's another one? Okay, there's so many. <laughs> so many. I shook a plum. This is the one I have on now on my hands. It's it. It's so good. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like marshmallow, coconut, vanilla. It's just. And I do get that little, like, fruity plum note in it, too. It's really good. Yeah, I'm, I'm obsessed with this. I'm really obsessed with this one. This one's really good. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Another one is the Watermelon Blast. This came out for the summer. This one is so good. Like, it literally just smells like watermelon gum. Like, it, it's just so good. <laughs> like, so this was came out for about well, 4th of July around that time. Ugh. I love this one. Okay, so I think that's it for Bath of Butter stuff. Okay, goodness God. Okay, let's go into perfumes. See, see by Giorgio Armani. This came out, you know, in fact, no, there was one perfume that came out actually this year, but all the other perfumes I'm gonna show you, I bought this year, but they didn't come out this year. But C is one of them. This, I think this has been out for years. So good. This was my go-to spring and summer scent this year. Oh my God. That is just smelling it's bringing me back to the summertime this year. Oh my God. I wore this to so many different things. I think I wore this to the Pat Benatar concert this year. I wore this to when I went to the beach party, I think. I think I wore this to my cousin's wedding. And I think, you know what? Did I wear this to the Real Housewives of New Jersey baseball game? Oh, by the way, I'm going to talk about... Girl, at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you guys what I think of the trailer. The trailer just came out this today. I'm filming it today, like the overall favorites, but I'm not going to upload this until like a week from now. But the New Jersey trailer just came out today. Oh my God, it's so good. Anyways, this one actually came out this year. So this is the Victor and Rolf Good Fortune. This, I, this did come out this year. This is the newest Victor and Rolf perfume. This is so good. I've been wearing this the last few times. I'll be going out clubbing and stuff, and it's just a really good um, nighttime scent for the for the cooler months. It was really good. And my new favorite, and then this one, the Good Girl Supreme. I've been, you know, I love Good Girl, the, the original, but I just bought the Supreme one this year, and oh, guys, it is it's so good. Like, it really is so good. Like, mm, I love this one. Okay, and then there's this one. This is the only, like, non-high-end. This is the Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy. I bought this, you know, back in the spring this year. And I really do like this one. This one's really, really good. Um, 
This one smells just like candy. I love it. So this one was really good this year. Okay. No, oh, what's it? So much stuff. Okay, so let's go into like makeup and stuff. So the first things are the lip scrubs from Jeffree Star. This is from his banana launch. Um, this, these two are the banana bun cake and the banana cream pie were my favorite, but the banana cream pie was my ultimate favorite. Banana cream pie for the win. But I also did like banana bun cake. So these are the two lip scrubs I've been loving all year long from Jeffree. These are the new flavors he came out with this year. I love these. These are so good. You guys know I never put on lipstick without using a lip scrub before. I have it's like a it's like a ritual. I don't even know. Like I can now wear lipstick without the lip scrub. I don't know why. I just can't do it. It's just it's just like it, they go together. They really do go together. And when you use lip scrubs, the lipstick glides on so nicely. Oh god. Okay, so. I think I'm going to start with this stuff too now. Okay, so the Translucent Luminous Setting Powder I just bought, and I've been loving this formula from Jeffree Star. So this is a favorite from this year for sure. Highlighter. Oh, there's a hair on my, my, my sweater. Highlighter is ColourPop Candy Floor. So I have it on my cheek, cheeks and nose now. Mixed with something else, which I'll show you in a second. But yeah, ColourPop Candy Floor. I'm like almost out of it, by the way. Some foundations, my two favorite foundations this year has been Sephora, the best skin ever, and NARS foundation. So this is the one I use for every day. So this is the one I have on today. And then this is what I use for special occasions, parties, um, clubs, um, birthdays like just how you know special more special occasions this is the one i use in fact this is running low i'm going to the mall today so i think i'm gonna get a backup of my nose foundation i'm gonna have to um what's next i guess i'll say what i have on my lips now so i just bought this and actually i like this a lot i do like this a lot so this is the 714 liquid lipstick from jeffree star i have on my lips now with the doll putz lip liner and um, what's the gloss? The Crystal Kiss gloss, you know, from Jeffree Star. So yeah, these, this lipstick is nice. I have it on my lips now, as you can see. It's a nice summer color, but I wanted to wear it today because it went with the look. Really nice stuff. Okay. Um, oh. There's one more lipstick. So I've been loving um, this Kim Ritter's Pink Religion Collection. So this is um, Holy Fashion. I just got it this year. This one's really pretty. This is like, this could have went with the look too. It's like a, just like a deeper, mauve pink. I love this color. Okay. Now let's talk about... There's so many palettes this year, you guys. Ice Crusher from Jeffree Star, the highlighter palette I just got. I have um the shade, oh well, I have Ice Pick Headache here on my cheeks and nose with the Candy Floss ColourPop highlighter. And then on my lid, I have this, which I never could pronounce, Asphyxia Forest, this purpley blue. I have it all over my lid. I have it all over my lid. So I have this shit all over my lid. Yeah, I love this palette. I've been nonstop using it. It's a little bit more fun, a little more colorful. It's not really neutral everyday wear, but I, I'm loving it. I use it for eyeshadow, I use it for my highlight. Love that. Um, God, there's so many. There's only one Jeffree Star stuff, but let me do one ColourPop for right now. So the Hocus Pocus 2 ColourPop palette I got. I'm gonna put in the favorites because I really do like this palette. Um, I've been using this nonstop. Even after Halloween, I've been dipping into some shades here and there. This is really nice. This is a really nice palette. I definitely recommend this palette. ColourPop shadows are good. They're not Jeffree formula. They're really not. I mean, I have to be honest, Jeffree's formula is way better than ColourPop. But you know what? For the price, it's, it's good. Um, 
And then this one I love. This is from their Peeps Easter collection. This is from ColourPop. This is um, the lavender shade. I actually have this in my inner corner and to highlight my brow bone um, today. So this is what I have. And I really like the shade. This is very, very pretty. Um, another palette, the Pink Religion palette I got this year. I'm loving this. This palette is, is awesome. I been I use it literally all the time. Literally, like I'm a bit obsessed with pink, pink everything, and I've been obsessed with this palette, like for real. Like, look, you can see I've been di dipping into those shades, girl. Oh, so good. Um, I think there's one more eyeshadow palette that I wanted to show you guys. Yeah, this one I got in the beginning of the year, like in January. The Blood Money palette from Jeffree Star. I got this in the beginning of the year. Just open this up. I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. Yeah, so this one I, I love. So I just got so many, so much palettes, so much stuff. Oh my God. Holy hell in heaven. There's a lot of stuff, guys. I'm telling you, there's a lot of stuff. Girl, there's a lot of favorites. Another makeup favorite is the MAC Fix Stay Over Setting Spray. I have it on today. I've been using it nonstop. You know, um, I love my Ur Urban Decay All Nighter, but I've been loving this one too. And um, this one's really good. Very fresh smelling. Sprays nice. And it makes the makeup last all day. So this is a, gr a great. This is really, really good. Um... I'll put the okay so I'm not going to take out the mirrors because this is a lot of work because there's so many mirrors and they're tucked away so there's two mirrors that are my favorites there's the Halloween Jeffree Star mirror um and then the the Christmas Kenny Key mirror I just got so those those are in the favorites as well I like his mirrors um what else I'm trying to look around make sure I didn't forget anything because there's a lot of shit <laughs> my goodness god um I think I just bought these two glosses this year, and they're okay. Whatever you purchase these, no, but I'll put it in the favorite. So, Sorcery and the Paid in Full lip gloss. It's from Jeffree Star. So, this is from his Blood Loves collection, and this is from his um, Blood Money collection. So, I got these this, this year. I think in the beginning of the year, I got these two, and um, I'll put in the favorites. They're not my favorite. Whatever you purchase, no, but I do like these. This one, I think, would go good with my look right now. Ooh, that is pretty. I like this. This is like a purpley blue pink gloss. I love this one. Yeah. Put those in the favorites. Why not? Okay. Now is the time for TV shows and movies. So there's a lot of TV shows and movies. I don't even know where to begin. So I guess we'll start with the Real Housewives stuff. So um, I guess we'll start with the New Jersey trailer girl that just hit today. That's a favorite of the year, is that fucking trailer. I know it's not premiering until February next year, but right now that trailer is a goddamn favorite. So, looks really good. I think it was the longest trailer they ever had um, for trailers for Jersey. Like, it was over three minutes long. They're introducing two new girls. They, I, they're, the two seem... I like one a little more than the other so far. I mean, it's just a trailer, so I mean, I don't know until I watch it. But the one with the black, long black hair, I like a little more than the new, the blonde one. But they both, they both seem like they're, they're, they're bringing it. Like, they're, they're both um, good additions. And then, of course, the biggest drama is Joe Gorg and Melissa versus Teresa and her now husband, Louie. That's, like, the biggest drama this, this season. Um, so, yeah, I'm really ecstatic to see. And, of course, there was clips of the baseball game in the, in the trailer, um... It's just making me, you know, it brought me back to that day, like, watching the clips of the trailer. I was like, oh, my God. Like, it's crazy because, like, you see them filming, right? Like, you see them filming, right? But you don't really know what's going to make it on the show. And you really don't know, like, what they're saying either. Like, you have no, like, Dolores and, and Frank was going back and forth a little bit. But I didn't see any of that in, you know, in the baseball game. Like, they were having this conversation, you know, we hear nothing. You know, maybe because it's really, really, it is really loud, you know. So, of course, you're not going to hear what they're saying. But um, they have the microphones on them. So, the camera's picking up what they're saying. So, even though it's very loud in the arena, the cameras and everything is still picking up what they're saying. But we can't hear a goddamn thing. 
So, um, yeah, but the trailer looks really good. Yeah, the wedding, of course, they're probably going to show in the, um, she's having her own wedding special, I think, but I think they're also going to show the wedding, like, clips of it in, in the actual show, because it kind of looks like they are, they're going to do that. Unless they combined her show and New Jersey show, like, together in the one trailer. I don't know, but I, I think that that, the wedding show is going to have its own tra trailer. But they did show clips of the wedding in, in the trailer. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. It looks really good. A lot of fighting, a lot of drama, a lot of like, a lot of stuff going on this season. It looks really good. Um, anyway, so, but the Real Housewives of season, the Real Housewives of New Jersey season 12 is a favorite this year. That came out, you know, at the beginning of the year. That's what they've been doing now. So I'll put in the favorites because I really did like this season of Jersey, the season 12. I did like it. I do think 13 is going to be better, but I did like 12. Um, I think Beverly Hills was good this season. Um, Salt Lake City has been really good so far. Um, I'm going to put, um, Melissa and Joey, which came out years ago with Joey Lawrence and Melissa Joan uh, Hart. But, um, I've been loving the show and I just got into it. So I'm going to put in the favorites because I've been absolutely loving it. I love, I think it's so cute. It's so funny. Um, I'm loving the show. So that's a favorite, uh, one of the TV shows. Drag Race, you know, I didn't really like a lot of the seasons this year for Drag Race, to be honest with you. Yeah, I really didn't. I think my favorite one was, I think, Australia. The new Australia season, I think, was my favorite one this year. Yeah. Okay, and then um, American Horror Stories was really good. Um... The American Horror Story, New York City was good, but I really liked the spin-off show, The Horror Stories, which each episode's a new um, story. Love this season a lot. So I'm going to put that. Jeffrey Dahmer series that I just watched. I was, uh, it was so good. It really was so good. So I'm putting that. Um, another Netflix show, Unsolved Murders. Um, so that is a, a real show. Like, that is documenting like real situations of um it's on netflix and it's about um each episode is like a new like story a new like investigation that never really concluded like it's really good it's i, I if i recommend anything it's that unsolved murder show because it keeps you on your toes you don't know what's gonna happen next and it like it gives you the chills it's like oh my god like how did they not solve that like or how did that happen? Or like, why did that happen? And there's so many unanswered questions, but it keeps you like thinking. It's really good. Um, Raven's Home, I really like this season. They really did a good job going back to San Francisco, back to, going back to that house. So I'm going to put Raven's Home. Um, what other TV shows? I got to, you know, there's, you know, there was some good, some good shit this year. There was a lot of good shit. I think I'm gonna be done with TV shows for right now, but I do feel like there was a lot more TV shows that I'm not thinking of in the moment, but um, if I do, I'll get back to it. But let's start with movies now. So, Smile. So I just saw Smile, um, which it, it it's kind of weird. Like, it really doesn't make much sense because it, it's about this curse that's going around that, like, it smiles at you and then you become like paranoid and you die or whatever. It's really good, but it's also like stupid in, in the same, like in the same breath, it's still kind of stupid, but it's good. Like it's good. Like I'll put smile in. I did enjoy that one. I'm trying to think of Disney plus movies, like new Disney movies. There's so many like the Hocus Pocus 2 and, but and Pinocchio, but I didn't like either one of those. I didn't really like any, and I didn't like the Santa Claus either, the new Santa Claus show on Nef on Disney Plus. Like, I really didn't like that. I feel like that was like, I don't know. I didn't like the how they ended that. So I guess oh, uh, back to TV shows. Ultimate Girls Trip. I think season two came out this year, right? That was really good. Obviously, you know, the Ultimate Girls Trip's really good. So I'll keep going back and forth because I'm remembering things and I have to keep going jumping back. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the Disney Plus, I'm trying to think. There was really no 
other movies or TV shows, like, or not other movies on Disney Plus. I'm trying to think Disney Plus, because Disney Plus, there's really not. Yeah, I feel bad because there was so many new stuff that came out this year on Disney Plus, but there was nothing that really was good. Um, often, first kill. I think that was an exclusive to. What was that an exclusive to? I'm trying to remember now. See the Peacock or Paramount Plus. One of those. But anyways, um, Orphan was like a prequel to the Orphan movie. And that was good. I actually got my kicks off that. That was really, really good. I really enjoyed that movie. Um, Halloween. The Halloween Ends. Um, I thought was good enough to make it into the favorites. So I liked it. So I'm going to put in the favorites. Halloween Ends. Barbarian was really good. Um, I saw that last month or two months ago. So I'm going to put Barbarian in there. Senior Year was a Netflix film, and I really liked, I liked Senior Year. That was with Rebel Wilson. So yeah, Senior Year for the win. I really enjoyed that. that I think that came out in April and May this year. That was really good. Um, the Jeffrey and Shane series on YouTube, I'll put in the favorites because them together and the, all their, every series I've ever done has been bombs. So I'm gonna put that in. Um, else what else you know, I'm trying to like think of other things I think that's it I think that's it for tv shows and movies like overall it's probably other tv shows and movies but oh like the Bonnie series was good but there really wasn't it Bonnie wasn't really a series it was just like a two episode like special talking about the backstory of the creator of Bonnie and I think that was on Peacock um so I'll put that in the favorites as well because I did enjoy that as well um yeah so, um, I'm trying to think, is there anything else that's kind of like coming to my mind that I can think of that I'm like, is a favorite? Um, I know there's like a mess behind me on my bed and I'm trying not to show that because it's, it really is a mess. <laughs> but I didn't feel like cleaning because I was like really lazy today. Um, yeah, okay. So, um, that's it for the 2022 favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will catch you guys in the next one. So the next video I'm going to film is, um, what's the next one I'm going to film? I'm trying to think. Is, um, Oh, my New Year's Eve um, makeup tutorial I want to film. And I also want to do a, a retelling of this look, which was like a unique... Like, I love this eye look I did today. So I'm definitely redoing this look. I'm um, in an upcoming video as well. And I may do my New Year's resolution tag, which I normally do, which is just telling um, about... Um, what was Just like, you know, the New Year's Eve tag. I do that every year. So I'll put that in. So I'll do that at the, at the end of the month. All right, um, this will be uploaded in like a week or so, so like right after Christmas, I want to say. Uh, my birthday is coming up. Yeah, my birthday's coming up. Um, oh, God, my birthday's in like a, like a week, a few days. And um, yeah, oh, God. I hate when another year comes around because it's like another year older and I hate getting older. I just hate <laughs> I wish I could stay like in my like late 20s or mid 20s forever like that's that's my perfect age is like mid to late 20s um so anyways i love you guys and i'll see you next one bye